Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, January 11th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat is actually still in bed, which is quite something. And I have with me a beautiful depiction of a manuscript from the Middle Ages. This is about 750 and from France. This manuscript um, contains pictures of angels around Jesus. These are cherubim, but they're the cherubim from the book of Exodus. They're protecting the Ark of the Covenant, which looks like a sort of a rickety bureau, and Jesus himself. And as you can see, their wings are protecting Jesus. They're reaching out over his head, sort of, and his halo to try to protect him. It's a beautiful, very old depiction of celestial beings who are messengers, yes, but these angels are protectors. Angels were also protectors of goodness. These angels are watching over and really hovering over the Ark of the Covenant and Christ. We continue with these great signs in the Gospel of John, and today is one of the greatest. It is nighttime, and the disciples have gone out to the Sea of Galilee, and they are in the boat, and they are rowing, and they see someone walking towards them on the water, and it is Jesus, and they're terrified. And Jesus says, don't be afraid, it is I. They try to get him in the boat, but for some reason, I don't think they can contain him, so they end up on the other side of the shore. It's reminiscent of the first few sentences of the Bible in the first chapter of Genesis, where the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, hovers over the water like a mother hover, hovers over the crib of a baby. It's a nurturing Hebrew word. Jesus is coming towards them to try to find them, to be with them, but they're terrified because he's doing something that, that isn't possible for a human being to do. And that's what happens to us when when things are different than what we expect, we get scared. We get scared all the time. When there's change, when there's something unsettling, when something surprises us. So the disciples are just flat out terrified and Jesus has to say, don't be scared. Just like the angels who say often, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what you don't understand. Know this, I come to protect you. I come to look after you. I am on your side. The angels are on your side, Jesus is on your side. So when things are scary or unpredictable, when you don't know what's gonna happen next, trust in those words, the words of the angels and of Christ himself, just don't be afraid. It's me, I'm your friend, I'm, I'm there for you, I come to you. That's what Jesus said that night and that's what he says all the time. Don't worry, don't be scared. I am yours and you are mine. And you may not understand me or know much about how this world works. And you may not be able to control the events of your life, but I, I will make all things well. Trust me. That's what faith is, isn't it? Just trusting in what we don't understand. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the beauty of the angels and for the events of this world that terrify us, but yet show us your glory, your goodness. We thank you that you protect us, that you want what is best for us, that in the scope of all things, you will make us well and make the whole world new. Help us to trust in this, especially when things are scary or unpredictable or painful just full of change. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, to bless those who are dying, to bless the hungry, the incarcerated, those who struggle with addiction or mental illness. We ask you to bring us peace across this whole world, to this nation and all the nations of the earth. We ask that you would guide us and help us to become better people a more enlightened human race to care for one another and for this beautiful planet that you have given us. We ask you to guide us and help us to trust in you, 
In your holy name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.